What's going on, y'all? Welcome back to the YouTube. Q. Q. You camera. You ready? It's a lot of debating you're going on right now. What's going on, y'all? Welcome back to the YouTube channel, and today we're finally getting a bass tune. As in bass tune, we're just flashing the car. We're gonna be putting the new injectors, pinning the new E85 sensor so we could put E85 in the vehicle. But we are here at the shop right now, so we're gonna show you guys a couple good uh, videos, and we're gonna be showing you guys the headlight and the grill. We actually, we accidentally put it on without doing it on camera, even though last video I told you guys we're gonna do it on camera. But you guys get to see the final edition instead of sitting there for five minutes watching us put it on. But in reality, it took like two hours. Mm, shout out to Chewy. Mm. Shout out to my boy Chewy. There you go. Shout out to my boy Chewy. Um, Jason's over here doing his magic, magic man. And matter of fact, I got some bad, bad news. So the V3 this morning wanted to tweak out. We were supposed to turn her all the way up, but unfortunately the V3 broke. The V3 broke. And we're gonna pop a little clip right here somewhere or maybe put on the next slide or something. But you guys are gonna hear the V3 tweaked out, broke my heart, sounds like another $10,000. Do we even have $10,000? You piece of shit. Yeah, we're, 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 going, we're going poor. So make sure you guys like this video, man. Leave a comment, tell your friend, like the video, share the video. I don't know, but y'all stay tuned, man. We got some special surprise for y'all, man. We gonna see you on the shop. Semen deck yeah. is tall EV yep. ones. Okay. Yeah, EV ones, the eighties yeah. and yeah. blue. Yeah. Eighties yeah. and flex fuel. Going old school, huh? Dude, this is an old school build. It is. This is like back in the day. I think this is making six fifty. My, hard, it's hard to get that much power out of a LS line. Well, you think so? We made six twenty on auto. Yeah. 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 Oh, this car? is this is I had this my Vortec. white one when I met at Ellen with him too. Yeah, I had this Vortec on this car originally. I ran a 10L at 138. My white one made 620 what? Uh, 629 or 628. Yeah, yeah with an auto. Yeah. And this do you is... want to do flex you on this one? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm gonna pin it pin 56. I won't disconnect the computer right now. I'll just let you do your thing. All right. Yeah, but there's a two bar on it. Nope. What the f is a two bar? See, this is exactly why we need to coordinate. <laughs> yeah. So uh, I, I assume that it's probably running off the MAF right now. It so is. you don't need a two bar. What's a two right bar? Now. So I could put it on MAF still. But, okay. But, but when we put it on the dyno, get the two bar in there, I could vacuum. Here's what I would do. Okay. I, I'd probably change, put the uh, 80 pound injectors in, the data for them. Okay. So you can start the car running on the existing tune. Because I'm gonna, if we go speed density, I'm, I need a little bit of drive time to at least see how they it's look. true. That's right. So yeah. let me run it off the map. That's easier to tune for just a base flash. So okay. I'll put so no E85 in. yet. No, pin it right. all. I'll pin it all. I'll yeah, get that done today. So the reason I'm in what he's here. saying is, is because on a car like this, once you, I'm surprised it's still running off the map. It's right? old school yeah. deal. Yeah. So anyways, anymore. I have to take that off. You don't have to. No, it'll just stay I'm there. I'm gonna disable it. So, so I'm gonna have speed density. It mm -hmm. goes speed density. How do we now have that? And that's what I'm gonna I'm gonna hook up to it. But I, if the map is really working then um, and then what, what do I, you exceed that. At 500 horsepower, you exceed the map. That's it's, why it always goes away. For real? That's why your old one, that one, mine, works so, all so speed density. These three wire maps, these are small. These are like 78 millimeters, so it's really small. So get the standard two bar map sensor, yep. and then we'll, we'll Yeah, the we'll one that we put density. on the, yeah. That way, if you wanna add boost or do stuff like that, it's easy to do because this math has to be close to being maxed out. I've seen people get up to like 550 on them, 600, but you're just exceeding it. You're exceeding the airflow limitations and this car, this particular car will run better. So there's no way impossible I could keep that mass airflow sensor. Unless if we leave it just like this. Do you want it? Yes. You want them? Yes. 
Why? I want to go to Reno. Okay. You, you, you'll be able to go to Reno still. You think so? Yes. Yeah, with the O2 sensors. Yeah, well, well, the, 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 the map reads the, the pressure, the atmospheric pressure, right? So here it's like sea level's 100 kPa, but if you go up there, it might be 80, but the computer will reference that part of the table and run. And with the O2s, it'll adjust for it. It doesn't adjust as good as a mass airflow sensor, but it'll adjust enough to make it run good. So, right. yeah. And you'll lose boost up up in Reno. You lose like two, three pounds. So, yeah. So I'll just do the injector data for now, and then you guys can figure out if you want to go two bar. Um, I'm not a real, to be honest, I'm not a real big fan of just how this is set up. This is really old school. Yeah, because the so, mass airflow sensor yes. is before the blower. Yeah. So basically, this thing isn't even seeing boost. No. It's you're guessing. Yeah. You're, you're all right. off the map sensor. You're just, yes. this. see how this is air here? And then you have boost behind the mass airflow sensor. <laughs> Pretend this is a big vacuum leak <laughs> that you're trying to tune around. Mm. So if I get rid of this, what do I do now? I you just, can leave it. Just leave it like that. It just, yeah. just sucks in air. That's it. So oh. I mean, um, if you really wanted to run a MAF, and I don't see why you'd want to in this application. Okay, take it off. No, no, you could do a couple things. One is you can put like an LS7 style MAF, which will give, <clears throat> give you a little bit more range. Put it here, but I don't like a draw. This is considered like a draw through. You're drawing it, it, through it. Exactly. And um, I've just, I don't think I've ever tuned a car like this, to be honest. Like it's all the tuning I have done, I always tune what goes into the engine. Because what you see here, it's not what you see there. You have losses through the intercooler core, mm -hmm. and you have a boost leak. You have different things that will impact how this reads. So yeah, fuck it. I mean, Just turn that shit off. It mechanically, has to be regulated because there's no way the factory fuel pump is regulating it down to 45. Yeah. And typically, when you put a big pump like that on a factory system at idle, the pressure is very high because it can't return enough fuel. Right. And I don't know if that Vortec in line is going to be a restriction if the 450 is trying to push through a smaller pump. Right. Nothing we have to fix today. I mean, like, that's not going to impact what I'm doing today. Right. I'll, right. I'll, I'll throw the injector data in there. But yeah. um, okay. if you have a 450, I would just delete that whole thing, Josh. Okay. I mean, that's my thoughts. I, what do you think is going to happen with a 450 pushing through a, a so, smaller pump? So my, so my, on this one, on this one, I had two in tank, just the factory regulator doing its thing. And then the secondary was in a hop switch and it was perfectly fine. That's a stock I, regulator? Yeah, the, the little, stock little, little diaphragm, yeah. Mm-hmm. For years, even uh, Matt's car too, the, the with the purple, for yeah, years. It, if pressure's at 60, I don't, I don't care how you get yeah, to 60. Yeah, yeah, yeah. As it's, long it as it's stable and it's at there. 60, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's fine. But, but you just reminded me that you said your gauge is seeing 40 something. 48. Yeah, that's it's... weird. <laughs> <laughs> I'd never look. <laughs> I guess I could verify with the mechanical one. That like what they did was just, that's just the old school stuff right there. This car was built in 2003. Yeah. And it's just been sitting, sitting. for almost whatever X in the 15. Yeah, don't look at how it looks now. It looks way different. When I found it, this bitch was a diamond in the rough. So the car's in limbo then. My V3? Yeah. That's what it sounds yeah. like. It was like shaking and stuff. Uh -huh. Yeah, it's limbo. It's reduced power. You want to hear it? Yeah. I thought it was a blown motor. Did it reduce power though? Uh-huh. Oil pressure looked good. It said 40 when you yeah, started, right? Like, yeah. yeah. And then watch it does it good, and then it starts tweaking out. Uh, maybe a ground or something? Uh uh. No, it has literally legit fault codes for the throttle body. Oh. The actuator motor. Yeah, it kept dying on me every time I would like. Since you bought it? So the throttle body that was on there was a piece of shit one, and it was stuck. Yeah. Tell him. It was a BBK. There's a BBK intake. <laughs> How many matter? Uh, yeah, intake. Stock now. Yeah, stock's good. Stock. Yeah, that's what I told him. <clears throat> stock's good. I already the TPS, but I couldn't see voltage. Uh huh. So I just got it good enough, and it was better. It was actually. Good. You know, the 
funny thing is, I think I asked Mark this, I may have, and every time I watch the YouTube videos, I know the camera adds 10 pounds. I'm like, dude, how many cameras does he have in the shop, dude? <laughs> that looks like I'm like 300 fucking pounds. <laughs> like, Jesus Christ. If you look 300, then I look like I'm 500. Hey, how do you think Junior feels? That shit's hot, huh, Josh? No, no, no. It's the frayed... Uh... Oh, that shit's not hot. Huh. No, no, no. It's not hot. It's the frayed aluminum that... I got poked, and not in a good way. 480. Right, I have to fuck with the idle and leave it at 1100 for like five seconds, and then it'll idle by itself. It's retarded, huh? Isn't idle supposed to be like 900? Uh, stock is eight on this car. With a cam and everything? Oh, she's pretty spicy, man. 25 degrees of timing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Holy shit. What's another three? 28. I can't tune this three, Junior. This thing's. <laughs> this thing's. So this is fast back in the days, huh? That's NA timing. I don't even think they they I don't even think they changed the timing table. That's what stock is. For real? Factory, yeah. So What's up with all these new cars that's with 16? Used, that's what people used to say. Put a 98 timing map yep, in. Yep, that yep. Was, that, was a, that was a way to tune it. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Is there hella shit wrong with the tune already? I don't know. I haven't gone through it all. I'm just trying to fix what I can with 25 degrees of timing. 25 degrees of timing. She was, a she was a spicy thing. Damn, this shit had a little spicy tune, huh? So that means back in the days, this was fast. Now I was still on 91. I don't think it was going to last <clears throat> 18,000 miles with that tune. You don't think so? No. Not with 25 degrees of timing on 91 octane. I be trying to understand what he's doing and I don't. I'm still trying to understand what I'm doing too. Hey, so this one, can we send this one to the moon? It was already sent to the moon and it's back. <laughs> it was already sent to the moon and it's back. I wonder what it made on 91. Probably a lot of power. You think it's like 550? Yeah, sure. I don't know. It's probably why it has a forged engine. It probably popped the last one. <laughs> he probably popped the last one. For sure. 670 with 25 degrees of timing. Don't forget. I'll give you 25, close to 25 on, uh... on E. Yeah. Okay. 26? We'll see. We'll see where power is. Oh yeah, that's sending it right there. What do you think is considered sending it, 28? I mean, the thing is, is that as we realized with your car, you, at some point you hit the limitation of, of the fuel and the combination, right? Timing doesn't keep adding power. Because at some so? point, no. It just, it gets, at some gets... point, like on E85 on an NA car, you can make like, say 10 horsepower between 22 and 26, but 26 to 32, you might lose five horsepower. Because, you know, you have to understand what ignition timing is, right? So ignition timing is, is, is how close to the top of the cylinder can you fire the, the, um, the spark plug. Mm. So as it goes up and, and you want it to get it all the way up top so that when it ignites, yeah, right. it's at the highest possible point and then it throws it down, right? So, you know, when they say the timing's retarded, what that means, is as the piston's going up, the piston's running away from the spark. So that, that oh. the, the piston's already coming down, boom, it ignites and pushes it down. That's how come, like when, on your car, remember like we did some fuel and then I started adding timing and the numbers started jumping crazy. It's because I went from the spark chasing the piston down to igniting up top. So you get the biggest explosion, right? If, 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 if you think about it, there's fuel and there's air, right? And, and as it's all the way up the top and you ignite it, the, the closer you can get it to top dead center, the more, the mm. more, the more uh, power it's going to make. More power it's going to But you know make. knock, right? What knock is, there's different forms of knock, but what knock is, is if you ignite it when the piston's still coming up and you ignite it, that's too much advance. But the thing is, is that like with a good fuel like E85, you could add too much timing and it's still not going to knock. But, you know, ignition timing, like you only can go so far. So... When you say, like, you think it'll be at 26 or 28, if we put your car in the dyno and it makes 620 on 24, and then I add 2 degrees and it makes 622, then there's no more power to be had. But if I add 3 degrees of timing from, say, 22 to 25, and it gets 30 horsepower, then I'm going to add maybe 2 more. 
you know, so that's that's why you need a dyno because you can't use just like, oh, well, I'm gonna give it 25 because the last car I did like this one in 25. Mm. And at some point, you know, adding timing doesn't need any necessarily power. doesn't and like anything. on the LS3 head, these heads like 25, 26, maybe 27 degrees, they'll take that. But the LS3 heads like around like 22, 23, somewhere around there. So adding more timing doesn't always it's give a you more plus. Power. Yeah, exactly. Hey, how much power do you think my V3 is making right now with it turned down? <clears throat> 60? Yeah, 50 probably. Oh, took like, I think I took like four degrees of timing out of it. You took five, five. Five. Yeah. Because we are at 19 and a half, and you say you put it down to like 15, if that. Yeah, and it was still not running right. Still not running right. So it was the fucking intercooler pump? It was a pump. It felt good. It feels good now? Smooth? It feels great. It's an absolutely just not, monster. Just, weak. just not as strong as it was. The transmission shifting good? Oh, it's shifting great. Look, I'm going to show you this video. It's me demolishing a 700 wheel C706. That's why I was asking you how much power it was making because I demolished him. That car made, that bed made 700? Yeah, so it was 690. Serious? Yeah. What's that doing? <laughs> I don't know. Whatever. Josh, what was done to that vet? <clears throat> Hell no. Look at a 4-gen herd shifter. At original, not no fucking SLP one. Like you gotta put F body. Lowe's! Don't they come like this? The shifter? Hell no, he's gonna tell you. Tell him which way the shifter goes. Don't tell don't say nothing. Does it go like that or does it go forward? What? The shifter. Thank you. Hey. What, the hearse? No, everything. No, I that's nigga? a six gen shifter, nigga. Bruh, the hearse shifter? Bruh, that's not the same no, one, bro. That's a whole different hey, one. Ask this nigga around. Josh. Ask this Josh, for sure. Is this shifter supposed to be like this or why like that? Why is it like that? It's supposed to be like that. So why is this like that? Oh, uh, because it got that turn all the way. It's already turned all the way. It's not supposed to be. It's not yeah. supposed to be like that. Uh, it probably right, it's supposed to. You're supposed to oh, grab it, it like yeah. Oh, I don't know what you guys are talking about. This thing is not a hurt shifter. Fred, right, turn your shit around, brother. It is supposed to go the other way. Drive it already. Hey, y'all picking on my nigga Junior, bro. <laughs> nah, bro, it's just one of those days, nigga. You feel me? You need days like that. It's just one of those tight days. Tight Hey, hey, tighten up, nigga. You feel me? You slipping right now, nigga. Get on your head game, nigga. The turn your shifter around, nigga. You got Camaro, nigga. F that. Hey, 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 that's some big, hey, that's some big nigga shit. You supposed to be like, brother, you supposed to play it off like, nigga, I like my shit like that. This nigga, you supposed to be more comfortable like that. It's trying to turn off. Oh, it's running like Oh my God. Oh my God. There you go. We just want to turn the AC on. Are we recording? Uh, yeah. You're recording? Yeah. There you go. That is car running like So yeah, we got a base to him. But unfortunately it runs like shit. Oh, it's in lit mode. It's in lit mode. It's not letting me go. Sounds like absolutely dog and well, that's why we call it a bass tune that was just a bass tune we got throw it on the dyno it's like stuck
was like dog. So we have two cars that run like Hey, brother, tell her to be careful. Oh, I'm gonna just give her a Jason. What's up, dude? The car is like, uh, turns on great, but as soon as you drive it, like, it wants to turn off. Not turn off, it's just like on limp mode. It feels like limp mode. Okay. Um, what should we do now? I'm gonna try to pick her brain first, you know? I mean, yeah, I, I really didn't even change it. I just changed the idle. I, I mean, obviously, okay. you have an issue that you didn't have before. What is it doing? Is it bog out or what's it doing? Like, I feel like it's driving and it's hella bogging, like, blah, 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 like it's bogging. Um, and when I drive it, it doesn't let me go past like 2,000 RPM. I just got in a fight with my friend. We made up. Okay. We hugged. There's, there's, you know, uh, I'm a little. Does Josh have a scanner that you can look at? Scanner? There's no check engine. There's yeah. no light on. Oh, I, I know. But just I look at the live data. Too, hey, hey, uh, Lowe's, can you pass me the scanner? Hey, you think your thing will read even though nothing's on? Live data. Live data? No. 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 So try this. Try disconnecting the... Uh, Mass airflow right. sensor. I, I Try disconnecting the mass airflow sensor. Okay. Okay, we're gonna. He said he wants us to get a two bar map, map sensor. sensor. Yep. Yep. Yeah, so what we'll probably need to do, what would be a good idea is that <clears throat> once you get the flex field sensor plumbed in, uh, plumbed in and connected, and, um, and then uh, okay. I think. I don't know where the map sensor on that one is. I don't know if it's uh, in the front or the, I think it's in the back of the middle, right? The map, the map sensor is in the back or the front? It's in the back. But it's I'm in the gonna... back. He says he's gonna move it to the front. Okay, all right. So then um, when you do that, then bring it. What I like to do is, um, okay. yeah, because if you put it on the dyno and there's fuel pressure issues, like, I mean, I wanna be able to get it done for you so you don't have to like, oh, well fix this and fix that. I'd rather just tell you, hey, look, this, everything looks good. Let's get on the dyno, or hey, we're ninety percent there. We just need a few more things, you know? Okay. Yeah. Okay. So I'll fix. I can fix whatever the issue is, like with the, uh, you know, I think it's just rich right now, and that's how the tables were set up. But I didn't change anything else except the idle and the injector data. But it okay. seems to be like the idle's okay now. Yeah, idle's hella good. Okay. Cool. It turns right on. It doesn't like, like try. You have to fight it. Okay. Good. Well, I can fix everything else. Okay. Cool. All right, man. Okay, I'll call you. All right, dude. I'll talk to you later. Bye-bye. Okay. So, yeah, exactly what we spoke about. So, what I'm doing tonight is ordering everything. Yeah. And once it's here, book with you, and then whenever you think you'll be done, have him come here. And then that's the day when we'll take it on the street. Yep. Just schedule the date, and I'll do it. What's going on? Uh, one more thing is, are you free next week? Uh, that's not good. Yeah, I have a full week of tuning. Um... Parts, and if you guys let me know when you can on schedule, then I might be able to sneak over there, at least for quick, uh... Yep, so, and I'll have it 100% ready for you. Yep. Yeah. Yep. And his fuel pressure sensor doesn't work. I know they make those combo gauges that have, you know, 85 content, yeah, I'm just gonna order him a new set. I'm gonna give him the part number. Autometer sells them. They're like 80 bucks, 90 bucks. The sender? Yeah, the sender, yeah. Yeah. Yep, yeah, cool. Yep, that's All what right. I'll do. Sounds good, man. Okay, cool. We have a plan of attack. Got some thinking to do. So basically, all we're doing is do that little tubular. Um, what else? Tubular. That little. Instead of a mass airflow sensor, it's tubular map sensor or something. Oh, two bar map sensor. Two bar, there you go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm gonna text that to myself. We said tubular, right? Tubular? 
two bar. Two bar. Map sensor. Two bar <laughs> map sensor. Oh, that's funny. Just like your inner chiller? No one noticed that, but you don't say nothing. <laughs> I just don't notice that. Hey, but you don't trust, you don't trust just port with no DOD delete, right? <sighs> Having a fucking lifter fail and take out the engine is stupid. You got, you got what I'm saying? Yeah. I mean, I think we're, we're going to, I mean, with the ports and stuff like that, we're going to be up to 850 wheel. We have no not. cam stock. Not even we've never even popped the valve cover on that car. Yeah. Okay. And that car has like two hundred thousand miles on it. Two hundred and ninety. Two hundred and ninety thousand miles. <laughs> <laughs> all right, it's good enough. Get it home. Bring it back. We'll do all the other miscellaneous things and then have him come and check it out. Make sure it's right, and then we go from there. Yep. Send me those things. At least I know after all that it'll be a hundred percent. Yeah. Let me know when you want. Let me know where to go. You can go. What's going on, y'all? So you guys reached the end of the vlog. Unfortunately, the car is a total piece of We're gonna beat that. Piece of beep. Yeah, the Camaro failed, and we just showed you guys a clip in the beginning of the V3. We were supposed to bring the V3, get a couple dyno. I said dyno. Couple pulls for you guys, but unfortunately that's not gonna happen because the car failed, this failed, we just have failures. Um, other than that, we're ordering all the new parts, we're about to get the throttle body and everything replaced on the CTS V3. Um, if you guys did like this video, make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe, and we gonna see you guys on the next one. Is that cool? How'd you do that? Ooh, look at that transition. My back fucking hurts.